we have done the basic setup for view products now we are going to build the table inside this we have included header below this i will write one comment container and inside this i will be creating one div div dot container we have already given the classes so the stylings will be applied and here i will be creating one section and for this section, I will give the class name as display products because we are going to display the product. So I will just write the class name as display product. I will save this. I will refresh my project. Now you can see the container stylings, the dark gray color is been applied. Now inside this, I will be creating the table. For table, we have table tag inside HTML. And for writing the headers, we have table head. Now inside this table head, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Totally 5 headings I need. Table head into 5. First I want serial number. Then I will write product image. Product image. Then product name. then product price and finally action and inside this action i can have delete or edit i will write action i will save this you can see serial number product image product name product price and action now i will refresh my project i am having all the headings with all this five data inside this i should be having this data but this is not the dynamic data. This is the data which is stored inside the database. Come here. Now below this table head, I will create table body. Inside table body, I just want table row. For each heading, I want the data now. Table data into 5. First, I am just going to give the dynamic data. As of now, I am not going to give any image. So, I will just write here image. Product name will be laptop. Product price will be 12,000. And inside this TD, I am having two actions. For delete and for edit. For both, I am having icons. So, I am just going to display that. I will write anchor tag. Inside this anchor tag, I just want to display that icon. I have already shown you how to go to font awesome and how to get the icon. Now I will be writing the class i is equal to class and inside this I will give fa yes fa hyphen trash which will be giving me the icon and I am just going to close i tag. In the same way I will just copy the same line and below this I will be writing fa yes fa edit. Save. I will come to my project. I will refresh this. Now I am having the static data. This data is not displayed from the database. I have just written this database. But in this format, I want to get the data from the database and I want to display the data here. And also we have this edit and delete button. For this, I am just going to add the classes. Inside this anchor tag, I will be adding the class. Class and here I will give delete product btn. And for edit also, class edit product update product btn. I will save this. I will refresh this. Now you can see the stylings are applied. We have displayed the static data. Next we are going to see how to get the data from the database and how to display that data here.